morning everybody welcome back it's a Sunday morning and um, I don't know if the video where we we're picking all the corn is up yet or not I, I don't know I've, I had several of them I was working on at once but uh, as you can see I have several bags of sweet corn that came out of the garden and this was what was left over at the farmers market some of what was left over at the farmers market and uh, we don't want it to go to waste, so I'm going to do a quick video of how to put it away. Um, I know the pepper video already went up, so this is just kind of, you're saving peppers for the winter, corn for the winter, squash, whatever it is, putting it up. That way, middle of January, you want corn, there it is. You don't have to go to Walmart. So, um, just a quickie, um, just to throw this out there, it's Sunday, so you have to ignore my toes. Um, well, I'm not going to wear shoes on Sunday. It's a relaxing day. So, just a quick uh, how-to, real quick. And um, what I'm putting up is peaches and cream. So this is going to be. Let me open one up. See the speckled uh, yellows and whites together. Sweet corn. But uh, the stuff we had last year was really good. So I'm hoping uh, this is this is good as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I think I've got about 20 years, and I'll take you through the cleaning, blanching, and freezing process and see if we can get it done. So, first thing to note here, um, and there may be plenty of people out there, let me uh, shuck this one real quick. Mm. All right, so take the shucks off, and now if you go on YouTube, you're gonna see, you know, some people freeze it with the shucks on. Um, I'll take it off and do it this way. But you're gonna notice with our sweet corn, the tip of it has uh, some damage corn worm or army worm whatever you want to call it but um, this is I know it might look unsavory but this is actually a good thing reason being is um, if your corn is pesticide free and hormone free and all the crap that people you know put in their bodies then the corn worms and the insects are gonna want it I mean you wonder why you go, when you go to Walmart and the corn is perfect and not a single blemish on it oh, when it's soaked with pesticides, nothing else wants to eat it. So should you really eat it? I mean, that's you got to ask yourself. So I figure since the insects and the corn worms want it, and they eat it regularly, I guarantee you every single ear in this bag is going to have a worm or a beetle or something. And it's just as simple as taking a knife and just getting rid of what's been chewed on. Um, and that's it. There's no reason to look at this and say, uh, it's no good, It's it's been, you know, infested with you know, worm or whatever. So... Um, I'll uh, probably go ahead and speed up. I, I'll get most of the, the silks and stuff off here and um, shuck it, cut the tips off, put them in. Now, in the event that there's any damage, um, as you see on the tip, if you find any damage throughout the ear, still not worth throwing it away. I mean, if you've got some here, just take and cut in, around the bite, clear it out, and you've still got a perfectly fine ear of corn. So, plenty of people will come to the market and they want to see this, they want to see the damage, because then they know if the bugs will eat it, they should eat it too. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, knock these out, and then we'll get back inside, and I'll show you the process of getting it put away for the winter. So. All right, now I'm gonna make an exception here. You can see this ear is thoroughly eaten throughout. This is gonna be an ear where if you clean all this out, you're really not gonna be left with anything. So this is an example of, I mean, even if you wanna salvage it, you're probably not gonna be able to. I'll cut this into two or three pieces, give to the birds and the squirrels. It's not a loss, they need to eat too. So not the end of the world, but there are times where you're not gonna be able to save an ear of corn. Um, such as this one. So I'm going to set it aside. It's all right.
right, my apologies. My other camera literally died on the very last year of corn. But you can see, <clears throat> that's what I got done. I didn't count them yet, so it's that minus one because obviously this one over here. But uh, I'm gonna take these inside, clean them a little bit, and then blanch them. And uh, as far as the shucks and everything, just we'll take, sweep them up, put them in a bag, and get rid of them. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go inside and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back inside now. I've gone ahead and prepped everything. You can see to the right here, I got the towel laid out. This will just be when they come out of the water after they've been blanched, just to lay them out, give them a chance to cool off before you put them in bags. I counted them. I actually ended up with 21 instead of 20. And over here, we've got the stock pot, which you'll turn this on high, get the water boiling. I'll go ahead and do that. And um, once it's boiling, you put your corn in, and you count from the time when the boiling starts again. So your blanching starts once the water's boiling again. So we're gonna go four minutes from the time of it boiling once again, and that'll be our blanch. So what I'm gonna do while this comes to a boil is I'll take these over here to the sink, wash them real good, get as many of the hairs and silks off as I can. And then all we have left to do, is get them in the water and get them done. They are they're washed they're clean now it's important to note you don't have to get every single hair off of every single ear of corn a lot of this is going to cook it'll break down and these aren't going to hurt you so you know if that's something you're worried about i mean as it is you could eat this ear of corn right now it doesn't even have to be cooked i mean you could just take a bite out of it i'm putting it away so obviously i don't want to freeze something that i've half eaten but um all right so i'm going to leave these sitting here in the sink while i'm waiting for my water to boil and then I'll be back with you here in just a minute as soon as it's time to get them in the water. All right, I'm back, it started boiling. So what we're gonna do with tongs, because you know, boiling water's hot. Take the lid off, let it boil. And I've got about six or seven here. I'm gonna put them in. Six. And seven. All right, obviously you don't want your water to fill all the way back up the pot, but I'm gonna put the lid back on, and once it comes to a boil again, that's when we start our timer for the four minutes. And four minutes in, take these out, set them aside, and seven more go in. And it's just a cycle until you get everything done. You can imagine if you've got 50, 60 years of corn, this is gonna take a while. But we've got 21 ears, three rounds at seven, so I will be back in four and a half minutes. All right, there's your four minutes. Take the lid off carefully, set it aside, don't burn your fingers. And so there's a step to this I didn't talk about. I don't know why I glossed over it. Take your seven ears out with your tongs. One more. All right. All right, now, put that back on, let to get back to a bowl. All right, now we're gonna do one more thing. And like I said, I don't know why I forgot this. We're gonna take our corn. This is the corn that just got done boiling. Bring it back over to the sink. And I have filled the sink with cold water. Stay. And I'm gonna take and put ice in here. 
and give it an ice bath. The reason being is we start the blanching process, it cooks the corn, gets ready to go, but putting it in the ice bath cools it and it stops the cooking process so you don't end up with mushy, um, you know, corn that, you know, once you get it out of the freezer later. So let me set this camera down real quick. Apologize for the, whoop, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And we're gonna break up an ice tray. Some ice. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that don't do this. And there's more than one way to do corn. This is just how I'm doing it. So, you gave it four minutes in the boiling water Give it another four minutes in the cold water and then take it out let it sit on the tile dry out you'll have to turn it a couple times and that sort of thing um, but that that's the step to the process that i forgot to mention but this is going to be it i'm going to go ahead off screen and uh, put the other seven in rotate them through put those seven in the ice bath and so on and so forth and i'll bring you back in at the very end to show you what it looks like when we're done all right all right so this is the 21 years they've been blanched they've been put in the ice water and now I've got to set them out to dry and just get them ready for the freezer. They're not going to go in until I know for a fact they're dry. The reason being is you put them in the freezer right now with any amount of water on them. When you open the bag in a couple months, you're going to have a lot of ice in your uh, bag. I don't need that. So 20, 21, sorry, I forgot how to speak. 21 ears of corn. You can see the, uh, the nice yellow and speckles to them. It's a good sweet corn. This one, what did I say this was? Peaches and cream peaches and cream corn and um, here probably gonna be about a month but I'll be putting away silver queen as well exact same process except they're bigger you'll I'll probably have uh, some pictures of them or something online but this is it hope you enjoyed and if you learned anything that's good too I'll see if I can uh, find something else to put up just to give uh, just to put out a little knowledge just in case you need it but have a good weekend